Hey, it's Ian. You've been here just over the week. How's things going? Yeah, good, good. Uh, everyone's been really, really good with me. Uh, obviously, I know the the standards before coming to this club from people I spoke to, and it's uh, I'm very, very pleasantly unsurprised that how good it is, how uh, how everyone is always on it, and. Uh, yeah, just trained today, as you can tell, I'm very sweaty in that, but yeah, we, we're working hard, working hard for one goal. How is it with settling in with your teammates? Yeah, of course, I've been on I've been on loan four times now, so if you include Mill as well, that's five clubs and I'm 21, so been a bit of a journeyman so far, but um, yeah, it, one one good thing comes from that, I think I'm quite good with uh, settling, settling into a uh, new group and I feel like uh, the lads have been top with me, so they've helped me there, but... Yeah, I feel like this is a really, really good dressing room. Really and you've been aware of Ethan Irahan because you played against him a couple of times when you're up in Scotland. You you beat them, and yeah. then somebody else Twice. happened in the uh, somebody else no, happened in one of the games, it. didn't it? Yeah, he uh, he did he did let me know that about the red card. <laughs> Last time I played, you got a red card, and yeah, it was uh, was was good of him to notice that. But obviously, I just told him we obviously beat him three 0 before that, so. It's, no, nah, it's good. Good banter. Yeah, he does. He doesn't let me forget that. Did you know any of the other players here before you came? Uh, I knew Rico. Obviously, Rico was at Bromley. Uh, spoke very highly of at Bromley. Um, who else I've known? I'd, I'd, I'd known of the players, um, not personally. I think uh, Ethan was probably the closest I've got to on the pitch wise. But yeah, no, nah, everyone's been top. And I think I've seen you talking about this before, but it was a relatively straightforward decision, was it, when you knew of Lincoln's interest? Yeah, no, was, as soon as I knew I wanted to come. Um, don't know, obviously you do your research, don't you, uh, of the town, because obviously a lot of it is, if you're comfortable off the pitch, you're going you're gonna to play well on the pitch. And uh, So the town for itself spoke, spoke, uh, spoke volumes, obviously everyone, everyone I spoke to about it, but then also the club itself, uh, when I spoke to Jez, when I spoke to... I spoke to everyone else, everyone was brilliant with me and uh, really made me want to come and I felt like I was uh, sitting tight for a while to come because in my head I knew I knew I was going to come here. And obviously when you have a season loan, you've had the North of the Border in Scotland as well, it must give you a feeling of being settled and able to just get on with your game. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I've, uh, I did enjoy up, up North in Scotland, it was, uh, it was good. It was uh, obviously as a loan player, when you get towards January, you are a bit... You're relying on your parent club, not not cutting the line short because you're enjoying it, and I can tell I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it here. So, yeah, just uh, it's good to get settled. I think everyone off the pitch here has made sure that I've been uh, sort of me, sort of here, and my missus a place to live. So, yeah, it's been been really good. And I guess what you want, you've got competition and that centre half position. There's plenty of rivals for you to to compete and play with. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be very hard to uh, cement a place. Definitely, uh, but that's what you want. You don't want. You don't want there to be just three centre halves at the club. You want uh, you want a lot lot of uh, boys fighting for the shirt and fighting to represent the club because at the end of the day, more more uh, competition means better standards. Link play with a three at the back. Is that something you're used to doing? Was that your other clubs? Yeah, yeah. I played uh, I played three at the back for most of my career. I played four a couple of times. I, I'm I'm good with both. To be fair, I uh, I don't mind it. Obviously, three. I, the um, outside centre half, you're obviously running more, but um, no, nah, I like it. I'm, I feel like I'm quite mobile for a centre half, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to looking forward to playing. For it. Looking forward to the game on Saturday. Your first experience at uh, Central Bank. Yeah, I've heard I've heard big things, so I'm uh, really looking forward to it. I'm sure they'll I'm sure I'll be impressed and, and more. Um, everyone, everyone's uh, real drive this week. So obviously, three points, nothing less. So. Yeah, they're, they're coming to our home turf, so we've obviously got to make it a hard game for them. Yeah, it's been a good start, hasn't it? And I know you've only been involved in one game, but talking to your, to your teammates, a feeling of a good start so far? Yeah, yeah, obviously uh, obviously everyone, everyone's been uh, brilliant with, this, with the start, obviously. I think it's one loss, isn't it? But then we're, are we in the top? top yeah, yeah we're, we're flying, really. If... Uh, Obviously, the the Shrewsbury game, I think, on the eye wasn't the best, but big good teams win them sort of games, and they don't concede and don't lose them. Um, even Northampton, you obviously, I, I was in the stands watching it, and it was really frustrating. But before it, you probably take a draw away from home. You know what they say, draw away, win at home. So, so yeah, I think it's been a been a brilliant start. 
And Blackpool, in terms of opposition, unbeaten, haven't conceded a goal so far this season. It'll be, a, to say the least, a difficult one. Yeah, of course, but I don't think, personally, I don't, I don't think we, we try to um, look at that. We, we know we've got real goal threats up front and uh, we know we're a good team and we know, we know what, how, how we can hurt teams. So, yeah, it's four games in there, see it's, it's a good job, but um, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully break that on Saturday. And I sort of saw it and I was like, oh, football and learning. Because I, I, I like a lot of football and what we get is quite a lot of football, so it's really good. Definitely encourage other people because like, I'm in a situation where I might even want to go into the police force and even though it, you're doing your sport, you're still getting your football, you're still getting your 3A levels out of it, so you can actually get your UCAS points or get your 3A levels to go on to even different courses as long as you've got your grades as well as playing football so it's sort of like a it's just a good course to do I think. <laughs>